If you could only buy one lens to shoot the Sony mirrorless system with and you were just starting out or if you need a super good lens to throw in the bag, this is it. Let's get it. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse. I'm ready for what is good, YouTube. My name is Lamar Griffin. I'm a creative based out of Denver, Colorado. On this YouTube episode, we're talking all about the Tamron 28 to 200 and why, in my opinion, I think this is one of the best lenses that you can buy for the Sony mirrorless system, even if you're a professional, beginner, uh, intermediate. I, everyone always talks about professional this, professional that. This is a great lens for the value, and I'm gonna tell you guys why in this episode. All right, before we get started, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I don't know where it's at, it's somewhere down there, uh, so you can be informed when I drop videos like this. This video is gonna be my user experience. This isn't gonna be a review. This isn't gonna be uh, technical. This is gonna be me trying to show you guys who might be interested in picking up the Tamron 28 to 200, what it can do in a professional environment and a non-professional environment because I have used this lens for both. I've used this uh, to shoot NFL games. I've used this to shoot high-end client work. But what I use this lens for the most is just an everyday carry around. So let's start this video out with diving into some footage that I shot with the Tamron 28 to 200 in a professional environment. Let's just see what the footage looked like. I'm also going to throw some pictures in there because this vi this lens this video this lens can do photo and video and I use it for both. At the beginning of my video, I told you guys my name is Lamar Griffin. I'm a creative. I shoot pictures, I take video, and I try to do that at the highest level. No matter what I'm doing, professional work, I like to do both. Sometimes I'm shooting video, sometimes I'm shooting photo. I like to have a lens that can do both, and this lens can definitely do both. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, all the shots I got with the Tamron 28 to 200, and I'm also gonna throw some photos in there so you guys can see what the photo capabilities of this lens is in a professional environment. Let's get it. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go. I can't play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me. They're not double up again, none of their nose, none of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke, I'm ready for smoke. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything now they ain't go harder than me They need a blade and a sheath A shank and a piece A crate full of heat A army of fleet A tank and a jeep A navy at sea Where they submarine, marine An ace up they sleeve A team of marines A freak on a leash A beast with an appetite Razor for teeth And still they will lay at my feet Boy you got the wrong one I gotta look over All of my publishing statements For Q1 as soon as the song's done I gotta call up my mama And tell her I made it As soon as my log's done I gotta read all my trade publications And sit my tea till it is all done I think it's all fun I need to know everything, who in the what is All right, so I hope that video showed you guys a little bit what the Tamron 28 to 200 is capable of. 28 to 200, every time I say that, I just, that focal range is something that, that's, that's gonna be the first thing why I would tell you guys to pick this lens up, the focal range. 28 to 200 is incredible. Now, do I miss being able to uh, be at 24? Sometimes, but it's not, you know, a $600 or, you know, in some cases a $1,400 difference between if you could pick this up. This is the Sony 24 to 105. This is an amazing lens and a very good, you know, you could put this lens and compare it up against this one and they're in the same category. Only thing different is this is a constant F4 and it costs a lot more money than this one. I mean, I guess a lot depends on your definition of a lot, but to me, uh, anything over $500, $600 more than something is a lot. So this is a quality piece of glass. It's a constant F4. 
24 to 105 and it's made by Sony. It also has image stabilization. So if you're walking around doing a lot of handheld shooting, the image stabilization can come in handy. But for me, the 28 to 200 doesn't have image stabilization, but when paired with my Sony a7S III, with the active stabilization, it's amazing. You cannot even tell that it doesn't have it. And even in standard mode, and I've also shot this lens on my Sony a7 III. So any a7 III users out there, if you wanna walk around and get some shots with this, and as long as you're not shooting at 200, you're gonna be able to get some pretty stable shots. It's not gonna be as good as this lens, but it's gonna be able to do the job. Compact lens, very small. You can easily throw this in the bag. You could probably put this, look at this, this is my pocket. It's in my pocket. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it in my pocket. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys about the 28 to 200 is uh, what it is capable of in low light when paired with the A7S III. Now, granted, I know everyone doesn't have the A7S III. I don't think the A7S III is for everyone. I think the A7 III is the perfect camera. The A7C just came out. I, in my opinion, if you were gonna buy a new camera right now in 2021 and money wasn't an object and money's not an issue and you don't have any Sony cameras, I would tell you to buy a Sony A9, but that's another video for another day. But the Sony A7S III when paired with this in low light, it's amazing. So I don't wanna talk about it. I'm gonna show you guys some videos of what the Tamron 28 to 200 can do in low light. I just shot this last night. It was about nine, 10 o'clock. I just went downtown and just was shooting some footage just to show you guys. So here it is and uh, check it out. So what did you guys think of that test? What did, what did the footage look like to you guys from the low light? I wanted to keep shooting at 5.6 because you know every it's a 2.8 to 5.6. I just wanted to keep it at 5.6 because when I zoom in and out, especially when I'm shooting sports, I don't want it to go from 5.6 to you know 4.5 and then 4.0. I don't, I don't want my f-stop to change, so I just keep it at 5.6. And even in the nighttime, and most of that footage that you guys just saw, I kept it at 5.6. Let me know what you guys thought about that low light footage. I'm super curious to know. Um, I was out there shooting it and I thought it looked pretty good. But this last video I wanna show you guys is for anyone that's watching this video and you don't own a Sony body yet or you're thinking about what lens to get and you're on a budget. So of course, everyone can't afford the Sony uh, 70 to 200 2.8 G Master. It took me four years to buy a Sony 70 to 200 G Master, and I've been shooting professional sports, professional client work, uh, high end client work, and I always had to rent the lens. I had to borrow the lens from people that I knew. Shout out to my guy Jordan Norwood. Jordan uh, blessed me and he always uh, looked out for me. But finally, I was able to buy the Sony 70 to 200 2.8 but it still came at a huge price and I got it used. I like to buy things used. So everyone's not trying to buy a Sony 70 to 200, 2.8. That's a $2,600 lens or $2,400. It's, it's in the thousands of dollars for that lens. This lens, oh, let me take it out of my pocket. 
the Tamron 28 to 200. If you're just starting in your photography or videography career, you just got a Sony A7C, you just got a Sony A7 III, any Sony body, and you're looking for a lens to start with, I think this is the best lens on the market just to start with for doing like beginning and fun stuff. And like I said, you guys saw I use this for an NFL game. That's what I do for work. That is a professional environment. No one said, hey man, what lens did you shoot when you got that touchdown with uh, Gronk and Brady? Actually, I'm gonna put that in, check this out. Yeah, so that touchdown that I got with Tom Brady, Gronk, was shot on the Tamron 28-200. No one asked what lens it was on. No one said it didn't look good. It got seen by millions of people. I shot that video with this lens. But what I'm trying to say is if you're just starting out and you're on a budget and you're looking for something that's good, I highly recommend this. In this next video, I'm gonna show you guys, my wife is starting to learn photography. She's starting to learn videography. We wanna one day be able to shoot weddings together and my wife is super talented. She has an eye for photography. And I think I'm gonna pick this lens up for my wife, uh, the 28 to 200, and you guys know I'll be able to use it too. So it's like double dipping, it'll be my wife's, but I'll kinda just borrow it all the time. This is my wife going out on a photo shoot. It was me, my wife, my daughter, and my nephew. We, were, we just went in our backyard. I don't know, I don't know why I'm holding this. I have, no, I have no clue why I'm still holding this. I gotta get better at this YouTube thing. So we went out, my wife was using the Sony a7 III and the Tamron 28 to 200, and she's still learning her settings. So she's shooting in manual. Uh, she doesn't shoot in auto. She's doing everything herself. She's still getting used to the shutter speed, the aperture, ISO. But she took all these pictures of my daughter. So here's some behind the scenes of my wife, who is a beginner using Sony cameras and you know still learning everything, using the Tamron 28 to 200, taking pictures of my daughter. So you guys uh, check this out and, and let me know what you think. I might be a little biased because that's my daughter, but I feel like some of those pictures that my wife was able to get with the Tamron 28 to 200, and she is a beginner, were, were amazing. Like I, I love all those pictures, and of course it's my daughter, but I think some of you might agree with me that some of those pictures were really good, and to think that that's the image quality coming out of a lens that costs less than $1,000, put in the hands of a beginner, my wife, I love you babe, you'll be a pro soon. 
But just showing you the capability of what you can do, soon as you soon as you start using this thing, the possibilities that you can get are so enormous because 20, the 24 to 105, the 24 to 105 is dope, but you stop at 105. The 28 to 75, 2.8, I would, I would say that a beginner doesn't need a 2.8 because if they're just beginning, they might not be shooting a lot of low light stuff, so they could probably get by with the 24 to 70 f4, but that's just me. But having this, so to be able to have the 2.8 and you can shoot an f4 or you know whatever uh, f-stop you want to shoot at with this lens. But that is all I got for you guys. I wanted to make this video for anyone that's wondering what this lens can do, the Tamron 28 to 200. It's an amazing lens at an amazing price, an amazing value, and it's just so versatile. It can do so many different things. I feel like everyone should have this in their kit, and myself included. I'm about to pick this up for my wife, and then <laughs> I might use it a little bit, but I'm definitely gonna buy this lens and keep it in my kit, and I might be getting rid of my 28 to 75 2.8 just because yeah, I'll get into that in another video, but I'm definitely going to pick this lens up. This lens is amazing as well, but it got to go. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the lens, any questions about videos. If you guys want to see me make anything, let me know. I'm dropping videos every Wednesday. I'm going to try to put two out next week. I appreciate you guys rocking with me. My name is Lamar Griffin. Peace. I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. I never know what to do with my hands.